Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through some important words when it comes to ecosystems. Now this is part two. If you missed part one, I dropped that link down in the description, so go check that out and then come back to part two. If you're ready for part two, let's get started. So our first word for part two is producer. And a producer is an organism that creates its own food energy. Plants, algae, and some bacteria are examples of producers. They take energy from the sun and convert it to food energy we can use here on Earth. So again, producers create or produce their own food. Number two, we have consumer. Consumers need to eat in order to gain energy. So anything that eats something else to gain energy is a consumer. Number three, we have decomposer. Decomposers break down dead organic material and waste and then recycle those nutrients back into the soil. Fungi and earthworms are a couple of examples of decomposers. Number four, we have adaptation. Now, adaptations are characteristics of living things that help them survive in their environment. For example, a polar bear's thick fur coat helps it survive in the cold environment. Number five, we have predator and prey. A predator hunts and catches other animals to eat, like a shark catching a fish. The shark would be the predator. Now prey is the animal being hunted, so the fish is the prey, and again, the shark is the predator. And lastly, we have food chain and food web. A food chain is a basic diagram showing how energy moves through an ecosystem. A food chain shows only one path. Now a food web includes all of the food chains within an ecosystem. This shows all of the connections and how energy is transferred within that ecosystem. So there are many paths within a food web. So there you have it, there's part two of ecosystem vocabulary. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.